Hey guys, Kev here, and this week on Beat at the Movies, we take a look at Hereditary, starring Tony Collette, Gabriel Byrne, and Millie Shapiro. The film has only been out a few days, but people are already calling it the best horror of 2018. But is it really the scariest film since The Exorcist? Um, well, I can say that it's a deeply disturbing, shocking and creepy film that will stay with you long after you've left the cinema. So what about the story? We meet the Graham family after the death of the mother of Tony Collette's character. We learn that this woman was a very difficult person to live with, with a lot of secrets. And the film is more or less a study of loss and grief that goes to extremely dark places. So to say any more than that would be giving too much away and I would encourage viewers not to read up too much about the film before going to see it because it's better to go in blind and just let the film take you on an emotional whirlwind of a journey. Now some people are saying that Hereditary is not a conventional horror movie as such. It is more of a psychological thriller and a character study of someone experiencing a serious mental breakdown much along the line of 2014's The Babadook. It also reminded me of some uh, more modern horrors such as The Witch and It Comes at Night. However, it is still a horror film because it is genuinely horrifying. It's packed with disturbing and quite simply messed up imagery that fills you with a real sense of dread and unease. Uh, there are also two walkouts in the cinema screening that I was in, so it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, especially in the third act when things descend into total madness. Now the film does do a great job of building tension and sustained panic but I do feel that it doesn't exactly deliver on all of the first act's promises. However, it must be commended for trying something different in a genre that can feel tired at times. One word of advice though, do not watch this film alone. You're gonna need all the support you can get during it and after it. I'm gonna give it seven black puddings out of 10.